Hi everyone. In last video, we will understand how to use database in fulfillment webhook. In this video, we are going to understand uh, what is action, how action works, why we need action. Okay. So take a look what we have done. We have made a hurdle booking intent, um, uh, which uh, book hurdle. We collecting parameter here, right here, and sending it to webhook. And here is our webhook. And here is our webhook. A dialog flow. Simply send post request to this endpoint, and simply get parameter and write to database and send response to dialog flow. That hotel booking is done. Okay. Okay, so as I said, we will populate show all booking. So go ahead and populate this. Okay, what user could say to uh, see his bookings? User could say, Show me my bookings. Show all bookings. How many bookings? Three sentences are enough for now. Okay, we must have to check this use webhook to connect our intent to webhook and something wrong here. Right? We must have to check this uh, to connect this intent to our webhook. If we do not check this, um, the dialog flow will consider this one as a default response and when user will say show me my bookings it will simply throw this message because we we have not checked this so we must have to check this use webhook but wait what will happen when the request go to webhook from this intent okay let's see a request will come here with no none of parameters this parameter will will be uh, an empty object simply this parameter will be an empty object and this will try to create a new order in database oh, no 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 we don't want to do this we actually want to uh, get orders from database so so how how we figure out that from which intent the request is coming from okay let explore. Let explore the document. Go to fulfillment section to see request and response um, objects. Okay, it looks like they have changed their document. Okay, right. Okay, what is coming from uh, uh, dialog flow with the request body? It is uh, session ID, time is term and here's the action what is this what is this action this action is coming from right here so we add here show bookings right and save it and in other intent which is what the booking intent we will add okay it is already added here right so, so two different actions in two different intents. Okay, it is also taking a, a intent name with it, but but in uh, using intent name to differentiate uh, two things is not recommended because intent name is editable and uh, may have spaces and a lot of things. This is not good practice to uh, differentiate the two requests here with the name of intent they highly recommend to differentiate uh, uh, to figure out uh, from which intent the request is coming from by using the action identifier are we right okay so we have added action identifier right here and we have action in our request body which is actually result dot action so we will 
screen. And we will make a switch case here. And Y switch case on request dot body dot result dot action. Case one case one is Default don't need to be break. Okay, in show booking, we have another. Okay, it is book hotel. Okay, first is book hotel and second is show booking. Right, and we shift all of these business logic in the first one okay right so if the action is book hotel then do this stuff okay get the parameter at the that parameter into database and response that your hotel booking is done and if an error occur say something went wrong in writing database and if the action is show booking do this stuff okay. I have already write in the code for getting data from database and last one is default in default response dot send that no action matched on So if, if if no action matched, this response will be thrown. Okay. Okay. Making sense? Now 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 we have differentiate different requests coming from different intent and we are uh, uh, dealing these requests differently on, on the base of action identifier. Okay. In these action action identifier uh, takes these parameter with it which which we are using right here and that's why these parameters call action parameter if 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 the action identifier is hotel booking you must find parameters uh, of hotel booking in right here okay okay then okay back to our show all booking intent okay when the request is sent from this intent we are differentiating it here and we are dealing it with differently okay user will say how many bookings I have show all bookings show my bookings okay we don't need any parameter here uh, we, we just have to go to database and get all orders and list them right okay and we have checked use webhook because this is mandatory to connect the intent to webhook if I do not check it uh, the request will not go to webhook okay and work work offline okay save it and test it Okay, you have two orders. Number one is VIP room for three person order by John. 
contact email is abc at the rate abc.com and number two is a standard room for four persons order by john contact email is abc at the rate abc.com all right so these two two orders are are, are here in our database so it is good okay so now understand this code line by line this is actually Firestore specific uh, code. Uh, you can use any other database if you if you want. Okay, what we are doing here? We are simply doing Firebase collection orders dot get. Uh, it is instruction to get data from the order collection. It will get all the uh, data in order collection right here. But remember, this query will not return the data. This is actually query snapshot. We have to iterate. This is some sort. Uh, this is some sort of iterator, right? This is some sort of iterator which do not uh, have data, but when you iterate on it, it will it will give you uh, each row on each iteration. Okay. So I have uh, initialized the order variable with empty array. So I will iterate on this snapshot and uh, I will I will. Uh, push all the documents in orders variable okay so a snapshot dot for each here is document i will i will get each document on each iteration and orders dot push that document actually document data this document uh, will have the id and data i can i can do here make id and data okay so we don't need id right now we only need data okay. after the completion of iteration i will have something like this in the orders variable okay now order variable have something like this the the array of objects okay each object is an order each object is an order right each object will have name email and persons and stuff okay now we have array of our orders we need to convert that array into speech because uh, we are not making a, a casual application we are not making mobile application we are not making web application we are making conversational application so we have we must have to return a conversation from here we must have to return something like like, like a sentence like a speech okay we do this stuff in web application on the front end but but in, in conversational application we have to do that stuff on the back end okay so i i have initialized a variable named speech and put you have order dot length orders uh, it will render like you have let's say we have three orders so you have three orders and then line break right okay then I trade on each order um, I could done uh, all all this stuff in one go um, right in one for loop uh, but but I, I have done this all stuff separately to to keep uh, the things simple right okay so I have initialized a speech variable and and um, uh, assign initial value in it Okay. then iterating on order I will get each order right here like each object each object right here on each iteration and index which is a zero based zero in first iteration one in second iteration right and I'm populating the speech variable inside the loop right number one this is actually zero based so I have plus one in it so uh, and make it one base right okay number one is VIP room for three persons order by John contact email is ABC at the rate abc.com and then line break and then second iteration okay number two is VIP room for four persons 
otter by otter by John contact email is abc at the rate abc.com and then line break okay now I have I have a speech I have a speech result um, let's say you have a three order four or five order this will convert uh, uh, our result in a speech and we are ready to send this speech uh, to Dialogflow back okay so we have returned this speech to Dialogflow back and if any error occur we we'll catch it right here and log error getting document and error object here and return dialog flow something went wrong when reading from database okay okay and here we have a save it and deploy it actually I have already deployed okay so 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 uh, this is the use case of this action remember uh, when we deploy our bot to google actions google home google assistant this thing is really really important and we will use this extensively okay so wait so wait for function to be deployed okay our function is deployed so let test it show my bookings and response is right here okay so the conclusion of the video is action identifier is to identify the request on webhook okay and differentiate the request coming from different intent to deal that request differently okay, okay. see you in the next video you bye bye